Well, hello there. Today, we're going to continue with our, um, you know, customizing Android devices. Uh, previously, we installed um, a GSI, a generic system image of Lineage OS on a Motorola device that had an unlocked bootloader. Well, today, we're going to add in root access using something I'm going to mispronounce. Um, it's either Magix or Magic or or mask as I think is how I pronounce it in the past which I'm pretty sure is wrong even though their logo looks like a mask uh, I've heard people pronounce this magisk magis Ma magisk magics so like magic but with an s in there I don't know forgive me for pronouncing it wrong but let's go ahead and uh, have a quick look at this let's go to our screen over here you want to get this from the official github repository I'll put a link in the description. Uh, when you're there, you can get the source code. It's free, it's open source, uh, and it is under a GPL v3 license. So what is this, what is this, uh, how does this root? So, I mean, some custom ROMs will allow you to have access to root, but hey, if you can unlock the bootloader on an Android device, you should be able to use this to get root on the device. And how does it work? It actually works a little bit like something I did years ago. So years ago, when I first started learning how to root Android devices, I really didn't like, or I didn't like, I didn't trust a lot of the techniques out there. So I came up with my own technique, which worked for a while. And then newer versions of Android come out and they change how things work. But, but what I did was I pulled the boot image off of the device and I modified it. And the way I did it was I did a loop back uh, telnet with root access to it so that I can telnet into the device through a virtual network device and have root. Um, so, so what does that mean? So when you have um, your boot image, that's the first thing that boots, that loads your kernel and basically your initial RAM disk, which is a very small uh, operate, uh, file system that loads to RAM that loads up the rest of your system. And it loads before anything else. So if you can modify that, you can modify how the rest of the system loads. That's kind of what this does. It takes, uh, when you install it, it will take your boot image and it will modify it. Uh, and basically nowadays with modern Android systems, you can't really edit the system partition uh, because it will detect that it's been modified. It's read only and if you, if you do edit it, it's going to not like it. What this does, it loads the regular system image, but then over that, it loads other things. It's similar to booting a live distribution of Linux. When you boot off a USB or a CD-ROM drive, a live distribution of Linux, it's going to load up a read-only image of the system, but then it's gonna overlay other file systems on top of that to overwrite any updates you do. That's kind of what this does. And it allows you to do a lot more than just root access, as you'll see in the future parts of this tutorial, like next video or the video after that. But what we want to do is we want to go to the official repositories and over on releases, click it and download the latest release. Now, the latest release, it used to be they had an APK for the application and then they had a separate zip file that you would install using a custom recovery like Twerp. Well, right now they've packaged it together, which is nice. So you download this APK. Some people say you have to rename it as zip. You don't have to. So download that. Now, let me go ahead and switch over my console here, my terminal. I am at the uh, fast boot bootloader for my device. And again, you'll have to get a twerp custom recovery for your device and either install it or boot it. I've done videos on that in the past. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you know how to install a custom recovery, uh, but basically get the image for your device, go to your bootloader and then fast boot, boot and the image that you've downloaded. I have a script on my desktop since I have multiple Android devices. I put all my images in one directory and that script just basically lists them all and I can choose the one for this device. So I'm sending it over. I could install it, but I just like to send it over and boot from it. And then once it's done booting, again, on this particular device, and actually my new phone does the same thing. When I boot into Twerp, it takes like 20 or 30 seconds before the touch screen starts working. Uh, but there's two ways to install uh, this Magisk. Uh, you can ADB sideload and the name of the file, which is what I prefer, uh, but sometimes that doesn't work. And if you get an error when you're trying to do that, you can just push it to the device. So I can go advanced ADB sideload. I can wipe these two things and I can 
swipe like that. And then on my desktop again, ADB side load and the name of the APK. Now, again, if you get an error uh, while it, like before it even gets to this point where it's pushing it over, uh, what you can do is ADB push that to the to the device and then back in the uh, twerp menu there's an install option and you just click on APK and it will start doing this it's going to run a script where it's going to again take your boot partition uh, basically make a backup copy of it and then it's going to modify it so that when it loads it's going to load certain files and the application over top of it once it's done we can just click reboot once it reboots, we're going to go into the application, click on it. It will ask, most likely, uh, it will want to update itself. You're going to have to give it permissions to install applications. It will download and make sure that it's all set up. And then after that, it might reboot. But then you have root access. And again, this is not just regular root access because it allows you to install modules. And not only install modules, but make your own, which is something we're going to look at in uh, future videos because it's super duper simple and uh, it allows you to simply add stuff to your system that you normally wouldn't be able to add. Okay, so Lineage is just about booted here. Okay, now if I look at my applications, I should have, give it a second here if it doesn't come up right away. Yep, Ooh. right here. For some reason the icon isn't correct yet, but it's right there and it's going to want to connect to the internet to download stuff. Oh, it's telling me to connect to the internet because I have not yet. So make sure you're connected to the internet. Okay, now I'll go back. So yeah, make sure you're connected to the internet and click OK. And it's going to download and make sure it's all up to date. Settings, allow from unknown sources, update. And now you can see the icon is correct. Let's go ahead and click on it again. And do you want to give it allow it to give you notifications? That's a good thing uh, in this case because it will let you know when devices uh, or programs are accessing um, the system. So sometimes at this point on some devices I've had where it wants you to reboot. But let's go ahead and um, let me enable ADB debugging here. Under settings, I'll scroll down, about device, click the build number a bunch of times. Oh, it says I'm already system. And we will go developers and turn on ADB debugging. OK. And see if it asks about this device. ADB shell. And now if I SU, and it says, do you want to give a permission uh, forever or just this one time? I'm going to say forever for ADB. And that's it. Now I can do root things on my device. A few little hiccups there. like. Normally I'm connected to Wi-Fi before I start doing this, but I didn't do that when I did the fresh install there. That's it. You have root on your device. It can be uninstalled at any time by either just uh, taking your stock boot image and flashing it back over, or it does have uninstall options uh, with with the application. I, I, actually, if you just go into the uh, mag Magisk, I don't know why I have such trouble saying that. I guess because I don't really know how to say it. Uh, but there is an uninstall option there. You can uninstall it that way. Or if you don't, you know, you can always just push a new boot image and it will override it. That's it. Clear as mud. I hope you enjoyed this video. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.